Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to make an iced coffee with the Keurig K Supreme Plus. So the K Supreme Plus has this over ice button. I'm going to show you how much coffee it produces and how to make an over ice. First, you just need any standard uh, coffee K cup. You can even use a reusable K cup and use your own coffee grounds, but I just use a standard um, coffee K cup. Now Keurig does not recommend uh, doing this in a glass cup. They say with the ice and the hot uh, brew coming in, it could crack your glass cup. I haven't had a problem with these kind of thicker ones that I use, but you are going to need kind of a bigger glass. It only produces six ounces of coffee, but it melts the ice so quick that it does make quite a bit. So you probably need to take the drip tray out and it fits about a seven, almost a set, almost a, it's a little over a seven inch tall glass. So again, I got my, you're going to need quite a bit of ice because even though this is over ice, it still brews it really hot. The, the coffee coming out of the Keurig is still around 175. So let's open it up. Let's do the breakfast blend Starbucks. Now simply, you're just going to press the over the ice button. When I press it, it says over the ice, over ice. It takes away all my other features. I can't do strength, I can't do temperature, I can't even pick the size. But I've tested this, it does a six ounce is what it's gonna do. And normally a K-cup is brewed around eight ounces. I mean, you can brew it however you want, but they're designed to be brewed around eight ounces. The theory is, is the water, the ice is gonna melt and it's gonna dilute that six ounces pretty good. So that's why they do the six ounce. So once we press the over the ice button, we just gotta press the K button. And it starts brewing right away. So I want you to see the water. That's the temperature of the water coming out. So it's still really, really hot. But you do end up with a really nice iced coffee. If you use enough ice, it really cools it down. And in, less, in about a minute, you've got an iced coffee. Again, it looks like a bunch of coffee, but it's only six ounces of coffee, which is about there, but it just melts that ice so much. Okay, so here we can stir it up. So you end up with, you know, 40 degrees. That's pretty good. You know, it is pretty diluted, but it, it is nice. It's a nice and cold drink. Okay, so one of my other favorite drinks, so I've got my ice, I've got some milk, and we can brew this over milk and ice. So you can put, you can vary how much ever milk you want to put in there. That's quite a bit of milk. And you can even add a couple uh, tablespoons of syrup to kind of give it some flavor. Now what I love about this machine is, so let's put a new K-cup in. Let's use a Dunkin' Donuts this time, original blend. We could do the over the ice. That's gonna give us a six ounce brew into our cup. But with this one, this machine actually has a four ounce. So say you wanted a really concentrated coffee into your iced coffee or your milk, we could do a four ounce. The four ounce, you're getting into kind of your specialty drinks. Because when anytime you do like six or eight, that's quite a bit of, that's quite a bit of coffee. But let's go ahead and do the over the ice again. Just press the button and then press the K button. And the reason I like this is because that milk helps cool down the coffee even more. Where over here, we didn't have anything in there but the coffee.
there you've got an iced coffee over milk. Again, you can vary this however taste you want. And I can even brew, you know, if you want to put it in a big travel mug, I could brew 10 ounces through that K-cup or 4 ounces. Unfortunately, though, when you press the over the ice button, it's only going to do 6 ounces. It It's uh, supposed to brew it at a little cooler temperature. I don't notice it to be that much of a cooler brew of the water coming out of there than when I do just a normal coffee K-cup. I hope this video helps. There's lots and lots of possibilities on different kinds of drinks you can make with this K-Supreme Plus. I really like it. I really like the multi-stream technology. I do think the five needles help brew a little bit better cup, a little bit better uh, coffee in the K-Cup. If you've got any questions on this, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.